Nearly 100 blind athletes are living by the motto, fear less, do more this week. Visually impaired kids from all over the country have been taking part in a camp at Penn State Barron, participating in adapted sports of all kinds. Matt Mathias has more on the program's impact. Matt. Good evening, Sean. Envision Blind Sports is removing barriers for kids with all levels of vision impairments thanks to their week-long program. 85 kids from 10 different states are being exposed to 25 different blind sports and adapted traditional sports to fit their needs. The program's executive director says 95% or more of kids participating come from schools where they're often the only kid that is blind or visually impaired, and gym teachers often don't know how to handle them. It's a great opportunity to teach them to be empowered, to know that they can do things that oftentimes people don't think they can do. Um, I always say that people that are blind and visually impaired, the only thing they can't do is see. They can do everything else. They have all physical capacity, so they just need slight modifications for the lack of vision. Fagan says of the 85 kids attending camp, there's more than 30 reasons as to why they might be blind or visually impaired. Some reasons include progressive eye conditions, brain cancer, eye cancer, traumatic injuries, and more. Levels of visual impairment vary from person to person at camp, but at the end of the day, it's something we're told they've found comfort in. We spoke to two athletes local to the Erie region who say they've really appreciated meeting people who have experiences like their own. There's a lot of other kids that have visual impairments here, but we all get along very well. I also like the fact that we get to be with also visually impaired people and all the activities that they adapt so we can do a lot of stuff that we normally couldn't do. They talk about some of the challenges they have in school and they build these great bonds and then all year, no matter where they live in the country, they communicate with each other and they can't wait to get back because they build these lifelong friendships. And both campers say they'd like to get into wrestling after camp is over and Lawson even recently completed a half marathon in May.